I'm Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. This listen card came out, the manifest card, which, you know, Gemini energy. This came out um, in reverse. And listen, which is the number two card, came out in reverse. I think this is the high priestess. So the magician and the high priestess came out. So Pisces and Gemini energy. But the point is, number one, it's like somebody here just, and then the five of swords just wanted to come out, which is which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy basically is leads me to believe that the energy between the two is like there. there is definitely some conflict. There could have been like a dispute with some arguing between the two. You Somebody feels like there's a lack of someone understanding because they're not really listening. And you know how we, some people think they really listen, but like they're really only like while they're listening, they're thinking about too busy focus on how they're going to respond to you instead of really actually just listening to you to understand how something feels to you, right? Or how something may have felt to you or, or just finding out what's important, you know? But anyway, so somebody has played some games, been manipulative, you know? Mm -hmm. The, the, Magician in reverse, which is this manifest card, is the someone, energy of someone who, you know, this person's manipulating energy. I I'm trying to be nice, right? Because <laughs> I don't want to be too judgmental, but the person who is in the magician energy is, can be narcissistic, or this is someone who manipulates people for their own gain, what is the mutual energy here between the divine masculine and the divine feminine? Yeah, there's that embrace card. Wanted to come out again. And this is, this is so crazy. This reduces down to a three, by the way. One, two, three, right? We have manifest, which is the number one card. We have listen, which is the card of number two. And then this is 21, which, re, which is three, reduces to three, which tells me, Somebody's walked away from something and there's something better. Spirit has something better for you if you've walked away. This is giving me like emperor, uh, really empress energy. I'm going to go to, I'm going to actually go to card 21 and read that because I feel like there's a significant, this card wanted to come out twice. Okay. So I'm going to read it so you can see, because this is a major, all, all three of these cards are major arcana, by the way. When I say major arcana, you guys, that, that means, like, this is all spiritually, divinely guided. Like, all this shit is happening for a purpose and a reason, whether it's fucked up or not. <laughs> you know, I, you know, let's be, let's be real. Totally possible. All right. Embrace. All right. I'm going to read this. All right. I don't know if there's not a glare. I hate this glare. There you, yeah, whatever, you guys. Anyway, so, yeah, this is you welcoming in whatever, like the new, I feel like, honestly. But it says, when it comes to love, the universe is smiling upon you at this time. Energies are moving and shifting, coming together, coming together to give you exactly what you need and want. Your efforts to clarify your heart's desires to be present in, co in current relationships and to actively manifest new relationships are now bearing fruit in this moment you are in a position to achieve all that you have dreamed of regarding matters of the heart your dreams are ready to manifest okay so this is embrace um let's see let me turn it allow all the pieces to gently fall into place don't resist just embrace okay just embrace the change your own personal energies are coming or oh, are combining to bring you a new level of being a whole and perfect okay this will allow your relationships to fall into beautiful into place beautifully to support this process of integration work with the concept of having an open and grateful heart express appreciation for the many blessings in your life as you go through the day, be aware of the grace that surrounds you. Grace shows up itself in ways both large and small, okay? The larger manifestations of grace may, may be your family, your health, and your home. However, there are smaller manifestations of grace that can also be acknowledged. Appreciate the warm sun on your face, the cool breeze blowing through your hair, the lovely flower growing from the crack in a stone wall. By being grateful, you surround yourself with the contentment and through and and through the law of attraction, 
you will be welcome more of the same, including fulfilling relationships. So I think this is, this is this is good, good, good news and good, good energy. After dealing with someone, I think I think you obviously separated yourself right. You were forced to separate yourself from this person that chose somebody else, right? And right now they're in the energy of won't wish they regret they feel like they chose the wrong person, right? They want, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about how they can make it up to you, how they can come in, how they, how they can come back. But you're, you are spiritually leveling up, getting better, right? You're manifesting new beginnings, small and large. So maybe you guys have like literally been in the uh, spirit of gratefulness here a lot lately. And spirit is listening to you ask for those things that you did, you know, those things that you've been writing in your journal or things that you've been praying about. They're coming. So that was a really good message for you guys. OK, let's see. Let's get some channel messages and see what else drama is about to come out, because I'm telling you, I saw there was some drama going on. Yeah, your twin flame says they're ready for commitment. So a lot of you all are dealing with your twin flame. But this is after commitment of them like wanting somebody else. And you see, and a lot of you all don't even want an old person. You know, you 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 are ready and opening and embracing and asking spirit for new, right? Yeah. I'm stalking your social media page. This person is sitting back and planning how they're going to come towards you, what they're going to say, right? Like I said earlier, uh, but whoever's watching you on somebody, whoever's watching on social media might be jealous and they feel abandoned or the, or your twin could have left you feeling abandoned here, okay? But just be, you know, this could be them if you've moved on. You could be just enjoying your life and having fun and you might not even be upset. You you could have stepped back back from this person and been like, man, you you made your choice, no problem. I'm gonna go over here and enjoy myself and live my best life. And now this person that's stalking your social media page is watching you have a great time, and now they feel alone and abandoned. <laughs> Somebody feels afraid. What are they afraid of? That you moved on? Yeah. They wish they would have, yeah, they wish they would have showed you love because now they have, they're thinking it's too late. They said, please let me show you I love you. Let me cater to you. Some of you all are dealing with the Sagittarius, but <laughs> you're, you, you really, I'm telling you, some of y'all have really moved on. See this? This says I deserve better. And listen to song that's playing right now. Seven Streeter um, with you, but before I do, I can't sing. But what's the name of this song, y'all? Before I go there with you, I want to know. Tell me you do, because wasn't this song about like if somebody else had a girlfriend, right? So you feel like I deserve better. It let me know, like, you know, and for some of y'all, this other person could have could be the person, the third party could be the one all jealous and envious of you that's watching you on social media or whatnot. Now you know I'm not being messy. I'm just telling you what's coming out in the cards and what the energy is. And by the way, you guys know this already anyway, right? But I deserve better. This is you saying, I believe you saying like no. Like, if you still have a... I'm not going to be in a third-party situation. I deserve better. And now we saw that person with their arms out. They're like, yo. Mm -hmm. Show me the Divine Masculine's energy, please. So you're like, don't come back towards me at all because I don't want to be in a third-party situation until you got that. Yeah, this person is ready to talk. The Divine Masculine is ready to talk. Somebody heard, yeah, <laughs> Twin Flame came out. So Twin Flame is here twice. Cannot make this up. Your Twin Flame is talking about you. Very, oh, you know what else to you guys? Even though I feel like there is some form of anger or shock here, 
You see all this? But I think this is also passion and energy too. But look what's on the bottom of the deck. Divorce, final. So some of you all, maybe your twin was married and they're, they want to come towards you and tell you that they um, are divorced out of this long-term commitment or they really, and I do feel like, didn't I say earlier the messages that came out for you guys that this person is constantly arguing with somebody? Ready to explode rage. Like th this per this person is going arguing nonstop with this person. Some of you all, this could be the jealous person, right? The person that they're in this commitment with that they are talking about getting divorced or they just got a divorce. So that's what's going on in divine the divine masculine's energy, okay? They are some petty, envious. Like, literally, I said, like, that was what came out earlier, too. We got envy, petty. Somebody's being petty, gossiping, talking. They can't keep your name out of their mouth or the person that they're committed to. Or this could be who they're, that your person's arguing with their uh, person they're in a commitment with. And then the arguments are all over you. All right. Um, all right. Here, show me the divine feminine's energy, please. Show me the energy of the divine feminine. Oh. Oh. The divine feminine won't... I won't <laughs> you guys. Y'all are funny. You see this? Mm-hmm. This is you if you're the divine feminine. You say come... Come... <laughs> I can feel that energy. That's why I can barely talk. Yeah. I mean, there's so much lust and desire and attraction and sexual chemistry. And there is definitely some third party interference here, okay? Because you've got love affair here. Dirty little secret. You're my little secret. And that's how we should keep. Y'all remember that? You should never let them know. That's ex that's escape. I, I'm showing my age, y'all, right now. Oh, my God. First of all, like, I'm older than I look. <laughs> I'm older than I look. But listen, you're in denial and avoiding. You're avoiding some feelings here. What's this denial about for the divine feminine? You're running from the truth. Oh, you're running from a conversation. You don't want to talk to them. If you're the divine feminine, you don't want to talk to them. But you're, you're seeing signs and synchronicity. Some of you all have been seeing 1111, 222, 333. Spirit has been trying to show you a path. I feel like Spirit has been trying to show you a different path, okay? On a different path, like Spirit spirit you know redirect you reroute you detour right and it's like you've been den been denying yourself of that path maybe you know for some of you all you know there is definitely some truth that you're refusing to see here about a situation oh you refuse you don't believe them legal came out in reverse for some of you all if somebody was married or is married you if this person does come towards you and want to have a conversation and talk and say hey i'm i'm divorced like we said earlier you're not going to believe them. You feel like they're lying. You're going to be like, let me see the papers. What else for the divine feminine? Some of y'all are dealing with a Leo. Somebody's, there's strong sexual attraction here. Obsession, desire, like strong, strong. Let's move on. Because y'all are funny. Show me more here for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Ooh, somebody can't sleep because they haven't been able to make a decision. Somebody is tired of the back and forth. Somebody's tired of maybe juggling two people. Right? Somebody's tired of being with a third party and another person. 
somebody knows that they need to focus on one thing at a time. Somebody feels, I feel like there's a sense of someone feeling emotionally unstable right now also, or like, cause they can't sleep. It could be a lack of sleep. You know, this person is just feeling haunted by the issue of not being able, this, yeah, they, you're all they think about too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, two. Some of you guys have been seeing two, two, two. Like I said earlier, right? Two, two, two. And then we've got the two of Pentacles in reverse here, and then we have a two of Swords upright. Again, we did say denial. All you know from the energy of from the Divine Feminine. All right, apply this where it fits, but whoever this is, somebody's just definitely going through some mental conflict. It's a very difficult choice. It's very, like somebody is haunted. Knight of Swords, there's that pressure cooker energy again. That's like a converse, like uh, this is, mm, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and then Scorpio energy, the death card in reverse. Somebody can't, it's refusing to let go. Okay. I feel like you are actually happy something. Well, somebody's can't let go and somebody else is like trying to, is happy if they've ended it and let it go. Yeah, somebody did let the third party stuff go. Yeah. And cut it off. Mm. Something came out and somebody there was some exchange of words or something. If there hasn't been, there will be. There was some exchange of words. It was a difficult conversation. Or yeah, we got the three of cups in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the knight of cups in reverse, y'all. There's with the knight of swords in the death card. There's like yeah, five of wands. This is all conflict. Remember, we the first card out was constant arguing. Like I was telling you earlier, somebody is constantly arguing with somebody else in their energy over this third party. <sighs> okay. What's whatever. Since there's so much uh obsession and attraction here, let's see what what else. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get some lovers intimate intimacy notes. I think about loving your body from top to bottom 24-7. Yeah, they definitely do. Air energy, the number two again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the number two again, number 12. Yes, sir. I don't even know. <laughs> what? I've never seen this card come out. Somebody said, yes, sir. Okay, so maybe this could be something that you said to somebody. You could have meant, you know, referred to somebody as yes, sir, or yes, ma'am, or something. Or somebody could be in the military or, you know, law enforcement or something here. I don't know. This is funny. I feel like this is this is fire energy, Aries Leo Sage, number 12. This is also you enjoying the sex is really good, basically. Yeah, the fire that we make can light up the world. More fire energy. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very strong. I want to see you. I want you to see the stars when we make love. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And then we have, I want you and nothing is going to change my mind. The number 44, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So some of you all are dealing with a, a younger earth sign, maybe. <clears throat> Can you see that? Ooh, child. <laughs> Let me see what's on the other side of the day. I think of you as I pleasure myself. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, tw the number 24. So 222 is here again. So go Google angel number 222. 
All right. And this person, um, <laughs> let me see. Let's see what the blockages are here. I know this is going to be a little long, so if it's too long, it's okay. If some, some of y'all are going to watch it and some of y'all just aren't, it's all good. But I feel led to do blockages, so we're going to do it. Spirit, show me the blockages between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. The blockage is a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Something to do with money, too. Okay. Somebody is pretending they have more than what they have here or finances are an issue with someone. And then mm, playing games. Being manipulative again. There, there's an energy of like immaturity here to a certain degree. Somebody's in your business asking about you. Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you guys. Well, we know it's a third party situation. The ball is somebody's court and a time to be decisive. So, you know, the blockage is the person won't make a choice, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like this person, the blockage is the person's unable to make the choice. And we saw this. The two of pentacles is in reverse. It's like, okay, yeah, now I'm ready to make it. I'm dropping this shit. I'm about to figure it out. You know, the burden is too heavy or I can't, I can't keep balance of the situation or somebody's losing control over the situation. That two of swords we saw is like, you know, that was upright. And that is, that represents like not being able to make a choice, not being able to see something, refusing to see something, maybe having some form of denial or not having enough information to make a, a decision. Somebody's definitely got a difficult choice here and they're not making it. So that's the blockage. Blockages, maybe somebody not having it. Finances are in the way. Maturity is too. There's an earth sign who misses somebody and they feel lonely without you. Okay. No, the blockage is happiness. You know what? For me, it's like somebody may not see. Somebody's confused about their happiness. Or this person doesn't feel happy without you, basically. You make this person happy, collective. But their religion, church, or religion or how something looks or feels and appears to the community is what's got this person blocked. <clears throat> There's a lot of blockages here. All right. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Otherwise, I really feel like we, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Then Scorpio just came out. Capricorn just came out. Cancer. Gemini and Aquarius. Okay, so those are the signs you guys could be dealing with. But before you go, I'm going to get some advice for you real quick on what you should be focusing on. Let's get advice. Sorry this is so long, but I have to follow what I am being led to do. Some of you all <clears throat> are receiving admiration for hard work, okay? You're going to be receiving some form of recognition either in what you do or in the community or in the workplace, okay? Uh, anywho, that was a side note message that fell out before I asked my question. What's the advice here for the collective? What should they focus on? Your manifestations, which was the first thing that came out. Remember law of attraction, okay? Thoughts become things. That's literally what we read and what we talked about. So focus on those things, okay? Because I feel like it's time for you to be ready to embrace with open arms, all right? 
namaste love and light i love you guys thank you so much please hit the like button on your way out it helps the channel to grow bye